Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we had new patch notes drop yesterday. Let's read through them. Take heed of the shadows in Treacherous Reflection. Since our last content update, you have vanquished the darkness in the Legions of Horror limited time event, beheld new legendary gems and new legendary affixes, and met a new familiar. This content update introduces the Season 26 Battle Pass, a new limited time event, new Tower War season, a new event centre cycle, and more. So jumping straight in with a look at the new Season Battle Pass cosmetic. The nice thing about this is that it is quite individual for each class, however, it looks really similar to the Howling Terror cosmetic that we had a few months back. Um, and even from this display of it, it looks so similar to that that it's a little bit boring once again. I feel like they've kind of lost inspiration with cosmetics, but there we go. That's what it looks like. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Tower War is making a return for Season 2. The PvP mode Tower War is back with a second season. We've made optimizations to the matchmaking algorithm to help ensure balanced play. Wonder if it'll be as balanced as Battleground is, but there we go. This starts on May 8th at 10am until June 3rd, 10pm, and is available from 10am to 12 noon, 2 till 4pm, and 8 till 10pm every day. You also must be level 46 or higher to play. With this update, we'll also see Swirling Winds events starting on the 16th of May until the 27th of May. Sanctuary is host to a thousand dooms. Danger encircles our world from all sides, and the howl of a storm grows louder as if in answer. So with this, you'll get daily tasks to complete, and upon completion, you can gain Rare Crest, a Telluric Pearl, and Legendary Crest too. Event Center will also be updated with new prizes, so you can see along the bottom here, it's basically the same as before, and you can get gold, legendary gems, normal gems, um, there's normally a Telluric Pearl, Aspirant's Keys, just for completing different tasks within each event as well. So it's definitely worth focusing on this and gaining everything that you can to help your progress. Moving on now to take a look at returning events, starting with Trials of the Warrior. A true warrior isn't measured by their title, but by their feats. Add to your accolades from May 8th until May 16th by completing daily and challenge tasks from the Trials of the Warrior event. You can either complete bounties or slay elite monsters to earn treasures befitting their valour. So similar to all clans on deck, this has different tiers that you can reach and this will define which prizes you gain. And with this, there's legendary items and random set items available. We'll also see Return of Wild Brawl, which is probably the most fun PvP event as you get to do this in a team, and I do really enjoy that. We'll also see Survivor's Bane, again, a really nice and easy event to complete no matter what level you are. Alley of Blood is also making a return. Alongside this, we will see Shady Stock starting on May 11th, and All Clans on Deck, which, as I mentioned, you can gain different tiers with this and depends. Uh, it basically defines which prizes you get. So moving on to feature updates, there is actually a little bit of a nerf coming for Barbarian, Crusader and Blood Knight. Now this is a little bit overdue for a couple of those classes that I just mentioned. Um, and if you've come across any of them in PvP, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but I do feel that this is mainly for this new class that is coming and to promote people to or kind of push people to play that new class. We also have Gauntlet Boss Rotation, so you will now be able to collect first kill rewards before Helikri Gauntlet Bosses are rotated out. Stay tuned for the notice, letting you know when to claim your rewards before Gauntlet Rotation. And Shadow Assembly Mailbox Rewards. So Shadow Assembly Rewards will no longer be automatically deleted, deleted from your mailbox when the Immortals are overthrown. So basically, if you're someone that stores up your um, blessings from Assembly, you will be able to keep those in your mailbox even if it comes to the end of the immortal reign, they will just stay in your mailbox. Whereas previously, they would just get deleted and you lose all of the rewards from that. And lastly, with this patch, there are a few trophies that are gonna be retired. So these are for defeating bosses within two minutes in the Helikri raids. So I'd recommend doing this with your warband. I did it with mine at the start of the trophy season or when they first launched trophies in game recently. And we basically completed all of them in under 10 minutes. It was super easy to do and it just gave us all a boost in those trophy points. So the only last thing to mention with this patch is as always, there will be some bug fixes, but we all know how those normally go. Um, let me know which event or returning event you're most excited for. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.